It is hot in this car. Fuck, oh, turn the heat off. What is good, you guys? It's your boy Joe back with another boom, 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 anger. So, as you see by the title of this video, <laughs> look, 2021 Christmas was not Christmasing. You know what I'm saying? The way that it should have been, um, or the way that it used to. Maybe I'm just getting older and Christmas don't hit the same. I don't know. But Christmas this year. I ain't even gonna say Christmas. Leading up to Christmas. Because my Christmas was fine. I had a beautiful time with my girlfriend. You know what I'm saying? I got this beautiful Snuggie for Christmas that she bought me. Um, New Year's was a banger as well. But yeah. So leading up to Christmas. Let me tell y'all what the fuck happened to me, bro. December 11th. Okay. I worked my last shift at this job that I had. At a dispensary job. I bought some edibles on my way out there, bitch. And her and did. And I ate three of them when I got home. Okay? Three of them within like an hour. So before the first one kicked in, I put two more in. Type shit. Um, then, I'm FaceTiming my girlfriend. We are having a wonderful conversation. I start getting zooted. I start getting a little... You know what I'm saying? And I lays my black ass down. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? So... When I lay down, I plug my phone into its charger, okay? And I fell asleep with the bitch in my hand. So, riddle me this. Why I wake up and that bitch is poof, is gone. So, let me tell you the story. So, I'm, I'm, I, I wake up probably like 3 o'clock in the morning and it was hot. So, I'm like, alright, I'm just going to take this shit off. I took all my clothes off. And then that's when I, like, had a split-second remembrance that I fell asleep with my phone in my hand. So, my phone should have been, you know, near me when I woke up. That bitch was nowhere near me. But I didn't look for it. I just knew that I didn't feel my phone in my presence type of thing. And then, so I went back to sleep. I woke up at about 6 o'clock in the morning. So, this is three more hours later. And I, and I immediately shoot my eyes open to look for my phone. That bitch is gone. I'm talking about... Finito. Gone. Um... Uh, out of there all right and so i'm like all right i ain't gonna sweat it i'm just gonna use to fire my iphone i mean to fire my samsung app i use that bitch the last time it updated was at six o'clock that night i know for facts i went to sleep at like 11 so my phone should have updated another time type of shit i'm like all right mm, that's weird but it says it's in the house and i know i had not went anywhere since six o'clock anyway so the bitch should have definitely been in the house and I know I fell asleep with the bitch in my hand. That that is that is the whole kicker of this story. Every time I say something else about this motherfucking phone, just remember I fell asleep with the bitch in my hand. My girlfriend watched me fall asleep with the bitch in my hand. So I asked her, like, you know, did you hear anything? Did you see anything? She like, nah, I just heard a bunch of noise like your phone fell or something and then your phone died so not only is my shit missing it's dead so not only can i not use the little you know thing when you use like a fire my phone app it like send a ring like a like a loud ass noise to make your phone make can't even do that because the bitch dead how is it dead and i put it on the charger <laughs> like something about that was pissing me off bro so that happened fast that was the december 11th Fast forward to about, what is it, December 22nd? Because I think that's when I left to go to Knoxville to go see my girlfriend. December 22nd is rolling around. I got to get on a bus without a phone and ride eight motherfucking hours. Well, really 11. 11 motherfucking hours on a bus all the way to Knoxville from Michigan. So, that's cool, though, because I got a MacBook and my girlfriend got an iPhone. So I could text her or I could FaceTime her from my MacBook. I was cool. I was cool. I was not stressing about the phone. Mind you, I am not. This whole time that I'm telling you stories, I'm telling you it in a sense that, like, I wasn't really angry about this phone situation. It just was very frustrating and confusing type of thing. Like, I just did not have the answers to soothe my own mind about where the fuck my shit was at or what, how it could have been missing type of thing. So... Boom, I'm riding the motherfucking bus. Tell me the fuck why. I get off that bus in Cincinnati, Ohio on my way 
to Knoxville, right? Our bus gets delayed for five fucking hours. Let me say it again. Our bus got delayed from one of motherfucking clock to about six fucking thirty. And that's cool. That ain't got shit on what happens later in the story. <laughs> so I finally, we finally get on the bus at six fucking clock. And I make my motherfucking way to Knoxville. I finally get in Knoxville. I see my girlfriend. We are having a good old, good old time. Mind you, I spent the whole time in Knoxville. I spent from the 22nd to January 4th in Knoxville without a phone. Because before I left for Knoxville, I ordered a phone. I ordered a replacement for my phone, okay? Because it, at the, that point, it had been like four or five days with me not having a phone. I might as well just go ahead. I can't find the bitch. I might as well just go ahead and use my insurance and get another one type thing. So I paid the little 200 funky ass dollars and got me another phone. The problem was they were supposed to ship it overnight. It didn't get there overnight. So I should have had a phone getting on the bus type shit. And I didn't. Um, and, I, and I was going to get my mom to like ship it to me once it got there. I just didn't feel like fucking with that. Because shit was already going crazy. Something would have happened with my phone. I'd have been mad as a motherfucker. So I left that bitch right there in Michigan. And I stayed my ass in Knoxville. So boom. Right. Crimin. No not crimin. I'm leaving on January 4th. Alright. Mind you still ain't got a phone. Still ain't got a phone. I gotta ride that bus all the way back to Michigan with no phone. We get back in motherfucking Cincinnati. So, mind you, I went all the way from Knoxville back to Cincinnati. That's a long-ass motherfucking ride. We get in motherfucking Cincinnati, bro, at 11 o'clock in the morning, my dog. About 2 o'clock, them bitches tell us, oh, we ain't got no bus driver. We're going to have to reroute all y'all tickets. All right, that's cool. But why the fuck is the reroute ridiculous? Let me tell you what the reroute was. Them bitches... Wanted us to ride from, from from Cincinnati. Catch a bus back to Kentucky. Okay? Wait in Kentucky till 4 in the morning. And then catch a bus back to Cincinnati. To catch a bus then at 7 in the morning to head to Detroit, Michigan. Are you dumb? Because the bus station in Knoxville, I mean, not in Knoxville, in, in Kentucky, that ain't no real bus station, my guy. It's one of them drop-offs. So you want me to stay at a drop-off until 4 o'clock in the morning because the bus that was going to take us back to Kentucky came at 4 p.m., 4.45 p.m., and they probably going to get Kentucky about 7 or 8. So from 8 o'clock... So about falling on and you want me to stay in Kentucky, my nigga? I was pissed. So you know what I did? I was like, fuck that. I'm about to, with my big, my big ancient age, call my mother and have her come get me. Because I'm not doing that. Because I'm in Cincinnati. Cincinnati is only like four hours away from Detroit. So please come get me, fellow love of God, before I have to spend a night in Kentucky and then get back to Cincinnati and possibly get stuck again. And then, whoo. Oh, squirrel. That squirrel scared the fuck out of me, bro. I ain't gonna hold you. I ain't gonna hold you. Oh. My fucking heart beat. These squirrels out here fat as fuck, bro. These are some big ass, big booty, bushy tail squirrels, bro. But anyway. Yeah, so I called my mother with my big ancient age. And, and she was like, yeah, let me find somebody to ride with me and I'll come get you. All right, cool. So I'm in Cincinnati and I gotta wait about four hours. So I called her at about three. She got to the folks that she was, you know, going to ride with at about 4. So, they left about 4 o'clock. So, it's going to be about 8 o'clock before they get there type shit. So, I'm like, oh, fuck. I'm going to be in Cincinnati without shit till about 8 o'clock, my dude. It's 3 o'clock. Like, it's 4 o'clock. And then, kicker, the kicker, the fucking knee slapper, the bus station closed at 5. It is the beginning of January in Cincinnati, Ohio. Them cold water winds 
at night will eat your ass alive, okay? And all I had was this motherfucking Snuggie. And I had to sit outside that motherfucking bus station. But let me tell you a little bit about what happened while I was sitting outside the bus station. All right, so cool. I met this dude while I was on the bus. I we don't I we I don't even think we know each other's name because I know I know I don't know his and I know I didn't tell him mine. So, oh doggy. Anyway, I think y'all can see him right there. Maybe possibly. Oh yeah, he's walking with that guy that just took off. Oh, let's see. Is the dog gonna peek in the corner? No, it's too small. Anyway, um, so yeah, I met this dude on the bus. We st we kicking it over there. We cool and we talking. We chatting. And then I was like, fuck that. I need to find something dope. And he found somebody that had something. Like, you know, a nigga that's just walking in and out of the bus station before it closed type of shit. Um, and I'm like, all right, boo. I'm going to go get this little 20. You know what I'm saying? Get the little 20. Then I'm like, damn, we need something to roll this shit in. You know what I'm saying? All right, fuck. And so we had to walk. We had to walk. Kicker. Here's another kicker. Here's another doozy. I had to walk with three things of luggage on me. A fat ass duffel bag, a fat ass backpack, and a fat ass computer bag. I had to walk about a, I say about two miles, bro. I had to walk about two miles with that shit on me. I, is it, was it about two miles? Yeah, cause I hit about four fucking corners, my nigga. That's about a mile and a half, okay? And then I went down some. So yeah, I'm gonna give myself about, I walked about two miles. Especially there and back, at least. With all that shit on me, dog. Mad in the motherfucker. Cold as hell. So, we finally get the shit we need. We get back to the bus station. We sitting out there. When we got back, it was probably about 6 o'clock. So, we smoked. You know what I'm saying? The only thing we was missing was some food, for real. And I just also was not about to buy... Uh, I'm not about to buy a bunch of niggas some food, bro. There's a lot of us sitting out here. Um... But yeah, so we get we get on the but you know what I'm saying we we kicking it we cooling it we ain't got no choice but to chill out there I'm I'm arms in you know what I'm saying pull these motherfucking sleeves in you know what I'm saying I'm out there bitch comfortable than a motherfucker you feel me cut up you know you know and I had a uh 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 a neck pillow also I'm in that bitch sitting on top of my luggage bro waiting on my ride bro that's the type of Christmas and beginning of the new year I had my nigga. Like, I literally was freezing, my dude. But, yep, that is... And then, when I got back home... This is the last part of the story, bro. <laughs> when I got back home, finally, right? I get to the phone. Open that bitch up. Log into a bunch of shit. Set that hoe up. And my Sims card don't work. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> like... My Sims card didn't work. At that point, fool, I ain't even gonna hold you. I wanted to, I just wanted to shed a couple of tears, bro. I didn't, I didn't want to really full fledged cry. I just wanted to let out a little frustration through water because, like, I had been through so much, bro. Like, it was really irritating me. It was just like, ease up on me a little bit. Fuck. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. And then I got that all situated the day after. So I didn't get a phone until January 5th. I lost that bitch December 11th. Didn't get that bitch back till December 5th, okay? But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that story. You know what I'm saying? This is a quick little story time about the recent happenings of my life. Uh, Go ahead and sm smash it up. Smash that like button, bro. Real shit. And while you at it, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And while you at that, hit that bell notification. And while you at that, leave me a comment and let me know a funny story that happened to you about your phone have you ever lost your phone have you ever been without it for a couple of days have you ever like had to wait on a replacement like what what, what happened with your phone you're all in my motherfucking business what happened with your shit you know what i'm saying anyway i'll catch you guys in the next video love you